from your local source, WCJB TV 20. This is TV 20 News at noon. Welcome back. It's called the world's smallest heart pump, but it's making a big difference for patients who experience the most serious heart attacks. Patients who probably would not have survived before now have a chance thanks to this new technology. Your health reporter Emily Burris has more in today's medical spotlight. Thanks. The device is a Biomed's Impella 2.5 heart pump, and it's in place at North Florida Regional Medical Center. Dr. James O'Meara is an interventional cardiologist with the Cardiac and Vascular Institute, and he's used the device to save emergency heart patients at North Florida Regional. And he's here to talk more about it today. Welcome. So now, what, uh, what patient, what type of patient is this pump being used for? Well, when patients have heart attacks, uh, the factors that can make them the sickest are basically the uh, amount of heart muscle that gets damaged. The patients that either have had a heart attack in the past or have had uh, a blockage that's located in the very beginning of their coronary arteries can have so much heart muscle involved that there's not enough healthy heart muscle to maintain a normal blood pressure and a stable heart rhythm. These are the sickest of the sick patients. It's basically called cardiogenic shock. Uh, traditionally, 90% of these patients would die. Uh, in recent years, with the development of thrombolytics or the clot-busting medicine and angioplasty or you know, stent placements, we've been able to reduce that to about 40%. And with devices such as the Impella pump, we're hoping to reduce that even further. Right, so this is not going to be the case for every heart attack patient, um, but something that is for these patients really vital. It's, yes, absolutely. Um, so now we have uh, some video here that we're gonna show of the animation uh, of the pump at work. So while we look at that, uh, go ahead and explain kind of what we're seeing here. The uh, Abomed Impella device is a heart pump that's in the form of a catheter. It gets placed into the artery in the leg and placed up over a wire into the heart. Uh, it's uh, then turned on. It has a screw-like pump, which is based on technology that's over 2,000 years old, based on the Archimedes screw. It has a very small electronic motor, electric motor, that spins and it pulls blood from the heart into the aorta, and it can produce up to two and a half liters per minute, or roughly about half of the amount of blood a normal functioning heart can produce. And that allows the um, body to receive the blood that it needs and uh, actually perfuse the heart itself while the heart is struggling to survive during the heart attack and allows us to help fix the heart during this very difficult time. Right, so now for these patients, this really is huge. And, and we're going to see um, one patient tonight uh, in our, your health story at 530. Uh, he's a really good example of the Scott Shoopy. So when Scott had a heart attack, uh, this pump was used on him. So if you could kind of explain what role did this play in, in his recovery? Uh, it was uh, very important for Scott. Um, Scott came in early, which was very uh, important for him. Uh, and he had uh, a large amount of his heart involved and he developed a, a rhythm problem that was refractory. We uh, multiple times had to shock him and uh, attempt to get his heart restarted. His blood pressure was not stable uh, and using the Impella device uh, allowed us to uh, get the time we needed to open up his arteries and fix a lot of things that had gone wrong with him to get his heart rhythm and his blood pressure stable and uh, through that time period and uh, a lot of uh, intensive care uh, over the next few weeks, uh, he was able to come through it uh, relatively unscathed and we we're very pleased with that. Absolutely. And Scott's story is truly amazing. We're going to have that for you this evening at 5.30 p.m. Uh, thank you again for being here today. Uh, back to you. Thanks so much, Emily.